It started when I was really little. I read this article about this 17-year-old girl, Jazzy Jasmine, running across the country. That made me think, whoa, that's really cool. I want to do that. Over 10 times as many people have climbed Mount Everest as have run across the country. David did not forget about it. A year or two went by and he says, Dad, are we going to do this? And eventually I, I said to Chris, Chris, are we going to do this? And so we had a serious discussion with David. Said, okay, if we do this, that requires a lot of running every day, a lot. But we're doing it. When we decided to do it, we decided to just bite the bullet and move forward. We're doing it to raise awareness about genetically modified organisms. First, the bad stuff. Honeybees are dying. We've lost 90% in the last 10 years. Last year was the lowest observed migration of monarch butterflies, with only 60 million. This year, all we had was 5 million. Over 1,900 species of amphibians are in danger of extinction. Songbird populations are down by at least 50%. Children whose moms are exposed to pesticides have six times as many cancers. I'm worried about the drop in men's sperm count. I want to be a grandma. And I'm also worried about the explosion of gut diseases, allergies, ADHD, autism, Alzheimer's. And cancer will soon be the leading cause of death. What are we doing to world genetics? Yes, it's true. The correlation between all these diseases and GMOs does not prove causation. But if it's not this, then what is it? Since we don't really know, doesn't it seem like this is a reckless experiment with our kids' lives? I don't want to be a guinea pig. Now for the hopeful stuff. We could grow better food, more profitably, mm -hmm. on fewer acres using organic methods. Israeli farmers have cut pesticide use by 80% just by growing more beneficial insects. Smaller farms with more genetic diversity is healthier for our people and better for our economy. If we want organic, we can save 220,000 people from dying of pesticide poisoning every year. If there's one present we want to give our kids, it's the present of a clean and healthy world. Economically, uh, this would be a very difficult thing for anyone to do. It's really hard for us to do. The only way we can do this is because of the internet. We can't connect with the whole world via the campaign that we're launching. We have to quit our jobs, so Brett has worked really hard. He's written a book. He's going to be promoting the book. We'll rent out our house. We're starting somewhere in California, probably LA, because it's a big city and it'll draw a lot of attention. We decided over a year ago that we were going to do this. We committed then, and we've been working to make it happen. And we're confident that we're going to get the money because people agree with us. People share our passion. And I was talking with a friend about, about the funding issues and he said, yeah, it's not fun asking people for money, but every time someone helps you, you've gained a friend. It is a friend who is sharing the vision that you do and that wants to help you make that happen for not just you, for them. And so the run, every time anyone helps us, they are joining us on this run across the country. I, I get excited when I think about the run, about their run. I think for our family, this is going to be a really amazing, intense experience. Why should you support us? Well, you should donate to us because we need money. Because <laughs> it's really hard to run across the country without money and we want to label GMOs. <laughs> Most of us in the world share the same goals. We all believe in justice, we believe in equality, we believe in having a, a, a safe, uh, clean, wholesome environment. We love the earth. We hope we'll help the entire country eat 
better and live better lives. We're on a mission to do what anyone would do, and that is to uh, protect and provide for the earth, take care of the earth, make sure that we're being good stewards of the earth. So we're confident that, that you recognize that, you see that in us, and that you would like to support that in us, and we gratefully will accept any donations you send our way. You should donate to us because right now we're pretty popular. We're talking about a popular subject. We're supporting the right to know. and This could be a huge advancement. It would draw a lot of attention. We could get a lot of media opportunities. It would spread the word and it could help us label GMOs in the end. And maybe even get rid of them. Okay, ready? Let's try it. Ready? We're running the country because we don't want anyone else to run the <laughs> I grow my own food and I save my seed and we all need to do that. Every additional bit. person that gets excited about this issue, who changes their behavior because of this issue, who has gotten inspired, as I have, by Brett and his family, it's like a seed that will keep growing and keep planting and keep seeding itself and it won't be genetically modified, it'll just keep growing. I don't know a mom out there who doesn't want to feed their kids the best they can. It's sad when we can't do that, but it's tragic when we don't know that the food we're giving them is poison. We need to change that.